Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part four of our series of session on Tally's inventory module, price level and price list. In the last couple of videos, we saw how you can configure your price list with simple price rates for each of the level. In this video, we will learn the advanced configuration that you can do for your price list for different level. Example, you can have rate based on quantity. That means if they are taking more quantity, then probably you can have a reduced price. It could be your business operation or your business model. And also sometimes you would want to provide discount at various rate for the quantity that they are picking up. So we will see how can we handle this use case scenario for businesses in the price list. So let us go to Tally and explore this option of advanced configuration for price list of various price levels. In this video, we will create two price list for two new price levels that is distributors price list and the dealers price list. Now, if you see first, you will see the distributor price list where we have three stock items and the rate of these items are quantity based. You will also observe that in case of Logitech wireless mouse, if the person is going to procure less than 25 numbers, then the rate is going to be 1700 between 25 to 50. The rate is reduced to 1600 and if they are buying 50 and above then the rate is further reduced to 1550 further they will also get a discount of 5% similarly the second item quantity based in this case you will notice that less than 10 is 8500 about 10 the rate is again 8500 but whereas if they are procuring more than 10 then they will get an additional discount of 10% similarly the third item now the next price list is for the dealers again here there are quantity based rates and also discount in case of dealer price list if you notice the logitech wireless mouse less than 25 the rate is 2000 between 25 to 50 again the rate remains 2000 50 and above also the rate remains 2000 but whereas between 25 to 50 if you see they get a discount of two percent and if they are procuring above 50 numbers they will get a discount of five and in the second case, again, you will observe that the rate is 9,500, but about 10 numbers, they are going to get 10% discount. And the third item, again, about 25 numbers, the rate remains same for less than 25 and about 25 as 1,200, but they will get 10% discount if they are procuring about 25 numbers. So this is a business use case. And let us now see how are we going to set this price list for each of the price level in tally. First, we will have to create the two new price levels. So how do we create it? I'm sure that you are aware now. We go to create and select price levels and we already have created wholesale and retail. All you have to do is just press enter. Enter the third price level as distributors and the next one we are going to enter as dealer we have created two price levels now just press enter now we have to create the price list for the distributors price level as per the table that we just now saw to create the price list come down to price list stock group enter and in this case all these item you will observe down here again this is the table for the distributor price list so all these three items are grouped under a group called computer accessories so we are going to select computer accessories enter and now you will observe that all the four price levels are getting displayed here we have to now create the price level for distributor enter and let us keep the applicable date as from 1st of april enter the first item is logitech wireless mouse so select logitech wireless mouse and now we have this quantity here from less than again observe the table down less than 25 the rate is going to be 1700 and we are not offering any discount from 25 and less than 50 numbers the rate is reduced by 100 rupees and again no discount 
some 50 and above the rate is going to be so now in the less than column here all you have to do is just press enter so tally will assume that 50 and above press enter and the rate now is 1550 plus we are going to offer 5% additional discount just type 5 and enter the 5% discount will be taken so similarly the second item is sandisk external ssd 1 terabyte select this in this case we are saying less than 10 numbers the rate is 8500 no discount and 10 and above the rate remains the same 8500 but we are going to offer 10 percent discount in this case enter the third item is sandus usb pen drive c type 128 gb here less than 25 the rate is going to be 1000 no discount and above 25 the rate remains the same but 10 percent discount is offered enter this way you can use quantity based rate and discount for the items as applicable for your business so now we are going to save this the next one is again for computer accessories the price level that we are going to select is dealers applicable date remains 1st of april 23 here if you observe the table down the rates are slightly higher compared to the distributors and the discount structure is also slightly different compared to the distributors table so i'm just bringing the distributor table also for you to just compare and see the quantities and the rate applicable for distributor price list and also the dealer price list so let us start creating the dealer price list so i have created the dealer's price list you can see from the bottom table here the rate remains constant for different quantities but 2% discount up to 50 and 5% discount above 50 is provided in this case and in the second item the rate remains same but above 10 numbers 10% the third item again above 25 numbers 10% discount is allowed so save this accept so we have now created our price list for distributors and dealer so we'll have to now start raising the invoice before we now raise the invoice one important configuration that you have to enable under f11 feature is i'm going to press f11 feature and since now we are allowing discount based on the specified quantities we have to enable the discount column in the invoice so how do we enable it under f11 feature you will see here use discount column in invoice by default this is going to be no come here and then set it to yes press y and enter and you can save this by pressing ctrl a now we will go to the voucher now you have two options one is that you can link the price level to the respective parties who's a distributor or a dealer now since in the last video we saw that how we can configure to allow modification during voucher entry in that case tally will take the cursor to the price level there you can select so let's do one for distributor using the modification configuration and the other one we will do it for dealer without the modification so we are going to select f8 sales here let me just quickly show you we had set up in the last video modify all field during voucher entry is yes so we'll keep this as it is and then we will select our distributor who is lakshmi agencies so you will observe that the price level field all the different price levels that we have created is getting listed and now we can decide what is the price level that we want to apply for this particular party now since lakshmi agencies is our distributor you are going to select distributors and the sales ledger and item now again look at the table below so that we will know that tally applies the right rate and the discount as per the price list that we had created so the first item let us say logitech wireless mouse the quantity here so we will see all the three quantity information so again look at the table below if the party is procuring less than 25 so i'm just going to say 24 enter the rate should be now 1700 press enter and you will see 1700 gets auto populated and the cursor is still there at the rate level where you can go and modify just in case as an exception you want to change the rate that is because we have enabled the modification during voucher entry we'll accept the same rate and you will also observe that there is no discount here now let us say that this person is now procuring 40 numbers so when you enter 40 here the rate should now be 1600 automatically 
automatically 1600 is come again there is no discount getting applied here the discount will be applied above 50 numbers that's what we are seeing in the table below so let's say we are going to say that he is going to buy 60 numbers and when you press enter here you will observe that 1550 is getting selected automatically and 5% discount is also applied automatically the next items we will select external ssd here again observe the table that is about 10 numbers the person is going to get 10 percent discount from the prescribed rate so let's say we'll say 12 numbers the rate now it's going to pick up is 8500 and 10 percent discount is also applied this way you can use this price level for any of your customer one you can decide while billing what is the price level that you want to apply once you enable modify during the voucher entry you will get the list here so every time when you bill you can decide or you can link the price level to the party so that automatically the price level is picked up so the billing clerk need not have to decide what price level needs to be applied for now let us go back and disable modification during voucher entry and let us attach the dealer price list to our dealer customer i'm not saving this i'm just going to escape so we'll alter the ledger master of our dealer which is anant enterprises so we go to alter ledger anant enterprises come here and then say the price level that you want to apply for anant enterprises is dealer price level select this and just press ctrl a now we go back to voucher entry and now since we don't want any modification during the transaction you want tally to automatically pick up the rate from the specified price levels price list so we'll go to f12 configure and we will disable this option of modify all field during voucher entry we will say no control a and now we have already set the price level for our dealer customer select anant enterprises enter and you will observe now the cursor will not go to the price level here unlike we saw in the previous invoice now let us go and see whether tally is picking up the rate and the discount structure as we specified in the price list of dealer let's take again the first item logitech wireless mouse the quantity here again we will say 15 numbers again observe the table here for 15 numbers the rate is going to be 2000 enter 2000 and also you will observe that the cursor is directly moved to the amount column it will not go to the rate column here come back here again again the cursor comes back to the quantity column so now in this case we are going to say that he is picking up 30 numbers so when you enter 30 the rate will still remain 2000 but two percent discount we are providing that's what we are seeing in the table below enter and you will see that the rate is jumped and 2% discount is also applied. Again, come back. We said above 50 is going to get 5% at the same rate of 2000. So we say 50 numbers enter and you will see that 5% discount is picked up. This way, whatever is the rate and the discount structure that we have specified in the respective price list of the price level, Tally will automatically pick up and apply the rate. Important thing is remember to enable discount column under f11 feature before you start invoicing i hope this video would have given you a clear idea of how you can configure your price list based on quantity that they are picking up and also we saw apart from the various rate that you can specify depending on the quantity that they are picking up we also saw how you can set up discount depending on the quantitative sales that you are going to make for various people. In the next video, we will see an important aspect of what happens in case you want to revise your price list, maybe upward or downward. That is what we will understand how to configure in tally in the next video. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.